by supporting businessmen like Sibusisu Chabalala and his Berry Hill Trading Company. That's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you. Welkom terug, jy is ingeskakel hier by Expresso op SABC3 en vir die laatste keer vir oogend klim ons hier in die kombuis in en vir oogend het ons met eetbare blomme gewerk en ons het die meest interessante dis aan mekaar geslaan maar nou gaan ons een bykie van een nagerecht maak met Chef Malieke van Reen en hoe gaan het volgen met jou? Hello, very good, you and how are you doing? I can't complain, I can't complain mom. I'm looking forward to what you're about to create for us I have no idea what you're doing because all I'm seeing is a lot of ingredients Okay, brilliant, I'm going to tell you a bit about what right, we're so doing Alright, so what are we making for dessert on this Tuesday morning? We're doing morning? a saffron and fennel panna cotta Saffron and fennel panna cotta Yes, so okay. of course we're concentrating on flowers and fennel is fully in bloom at the moment Oh it's yes? It's in season at the moment, that's why I chose to use fennel Okay So a panna cotta is basically a cooked cream all right. So it's a set dessert and we're going to prepare it from scratch and obviously it needs to go into the refrigerator to set. Yes. And then we're going to plate it up and make it look all really pretty with <laughs> lots of flowers. All really and pretty, lots of flowers. Okay, yes. cool. So uh, what, where are we going to start with this recipe? Well, I've got a saucepan which is heated. I've added 375 mils of cream. Okay, got that in there. That's 65 mils of milk. Great. So we've got a bit of cinnamon over there, which we're going to infuse into the cream. That's the fennel seeds. Fennel seeds, okay. And you know fennel seeds have got a bit of a licorice flavour yes. to it. It's quite a nice, I just tasted one just before we came mm -hmm. in, and it's quite nice, the licorice flavour. Yeah, if flavor. you smell that, you get the... Oh, that's lovely, it's that's fresh. Amazing, eh? Very and then fresh. we're adding some saffron. Okay. The saffron's not actually a flower, it's classified as a spice, yes. but because it does come from a flower and I it's very see. carefully hand picked, um, <laughs> it definitely deserves to be. Um, yes. It does deserve to be mentioned. Absolutely. But of course, we are making a saffron and fennel panna cotta dessert this morning. And you can make this at home if you SMS the keyword fennel to 33728. We'll send you on the Pick and Bay shopping list. You can get all the ingredients there and make yourself a lovely dessert. Okay, so I've added the saffron to that, yes. the toasted fennel seeds, the cinnamon. All right. This is just some egg yolks. So and by leaving this and it just heats up nicely, do you want it to have a full boil or just to kind of It needs simmer? to come to the boil. As okay. soon as it comes to the boil, that flavour is going to fuse in there quite nicely. The saffron is going to add a little bit of colour. Beautiful, okay. And then we're going to whisk in the egg yolks and sugar and that's going right. to thicken it up. I've got a little bit of gelatina as yes. well. Cool. Which we're putting into the water to dissolve. Perfect. So the gelatine is just to kind of firm the mixture up? Absolutely. I see, I see. So once that gets to the boil... All right, I've turned up your pan a little bit. Okay. There we Great go. job. So we're going to plate it up. Kitchen. So <laughs> what I've got here is some dried flowers. Okay. So that's a selection of violets, some rose petals, um, some sunflowers. If you smell that, that's... Oh, it's got a very nice... It's lovely, eh? Like a flowery scent. Mm -hmm. You know, it smells like flowers. And then flowers. we've made Great. some marshmallows and coated it in some dried flower petals How did you get well. the flowers to stick on there? Well, when you make the marshmallows, it's done with egg white. Oh, you made it? Yes. Jeez, it's done with egg white, so you whisk it up really yes. stiffly with some sugar and it becomes really glossy, so it's moist once you pipe it and obviously it dries out I and see, that's and then you kind of when just you stick the flower out. to it. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is Can coming on nicely now. Stir? See, that is heating up very mm -hmm. nicely now. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's coming to the boil. You're in. I can smell the, the uh, cinnamon releasing its flavour now. And we're as going it gets... to there we go. whisk that in. All right, You'll beautiful. You'll just keep whisking that. I will keep whisking for you. Of course, you can make your own fennel and... What is the other thing you said? Saffron. Saffron. I mm -hmm. keep missing that word. Fennel and saffron panna cotta. You can make this dessert at home. SMS the keyword fennel to 33728. Okay. We'll send you on the pick and play shopping list. All right. So that's lovely dissolved and that's starting to thicken up quite yes. nicely. So we're going to add, we're going to remove it from the heat and then you can stir in that gelatine. All right. So I remove it from the heat. Oops, yes. Can I take that whisk from you? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. And then I'll stir that in. You can stir that in. Woo, look at that. Oops. It's going to be lovely. So once all that's dissolved, you're going to strain it into that bowl and then you can pretty much set it in whichever mould you want. So you can do little individual ones, you can do a big one for yes. a family size, nice right. feast for lunch or whatever So I think this is now done. That you can strain off, you can see the nice yellow colour you've got from oh, the saffron. beautiful. Mm -hmm. And can you smell that cinnamon, the, the cinnamon, fennel? Two of my favourite ingredients, cinnamon and vanilla. Mm -hmm. Absolutely okay. love it. So that you can set in that as is or pour it into little individual moulds. Yes. But obviously we've got some that's set already, so we're going to plate it up. Great stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is what it would look like now when it sets. Yes, once it sets, so in the refrigerator, cool it down, set it completely. Okay. Um, you and we've got some ice cream in the freezer. In the freezer. 
Yes. And I take it, it would be this little white tub. It's a white tub, and it's a smoked flour ice cream. So what a we've smoked done flour is, ice cream. I've used oh. some. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I've got a scoop. Look so if at you that. Scoop us some in the meanwhile. All righty. One scoop, two scoops. I think one little scoop. How many would you like? Will, one little scoop will be enough. Okay. So we've got some crumble there. All right, where do I pack this? Wherever you feel comfortable. Let, sure. let's, let's get all of this sick. <laughs> anyway. Okay. okay, here we go. I'm going to do it right there. Wherever you want. Mm -hmm. Look at oh, that. Look at that. Sure. We've got some marshmallows. Lovely. And obviously, the way the ice cream is smoked is we use some rooibos tea leaves. Yes. Um, and the dried flowers. Now, isn't this it. just a classy dessert? We've got to do a little fennel flour of there course. too. Look at that. Go. That is like an art piece. I don't even want to touch it. I'll just look at it. But that looks beautiful. Our fennel and saffron, saffron. panna cotta looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Chef Malika. If you have missed any of the steps that we have just made to create this masterpiece, here's a quick recap. Place cream and milk into a saucepan. Add saffron, fennel, cinnamon sticks, orange zest, vanilla, then boil. Whisk together egg yolks and sugar, then pour in hot cream. Return to heat and stir until thickened. Add bloomed gelatine, then strain. Pour into molds or glasses and leave to set in the fridge. Oh, okay, Chef Malika, I know that I said I can't touch it, but I have to. You've got to have a little taste. I want it, some of the uh, ice cream. You've got to get a little bit of everything in there. Crunchy biscuits. Some of the fennel and, some and of this. saffron from the panna cotta. Jeez, where else? And a flower. And a flower. Wow, that is such a rich tasting dessert. Taste a bit of the flowers, taste the ice cream. The fennel I can get in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. Once again, for this recipe, SMS fennel to 33728. And you could make your own masterpiece just like that. Chef Malika, thank you so much. Where Thanks do you get the inspiration you. for something like that? Obviously, I was given flowers, and obviously you think lots of pretty green and a little bit of crumble and get that garden feel, a little bit of dried flour, and that's obviously why we smoked the ice yes. cream, because you wanted to get as much floral, but also exactly. keep it as subtle and, as possible. And you also mentioned a very interesting fact when it comes to the actual fennel. Mm -hmm. In terms of aiding in oh, digestion. digestion? Yes, you'll often find if you go to Indian restaurants, they'll often, um, at the end of your meal, serve you some fennel seeds dusted in sugar. Yes. So um, that aids in digestion. Oh, that's mm. very interesting. So fennel aids in digestion. Thank mm. you so much once again, Chef what Malika. I'm going to tuck into this dessert, you go but we are going to end off this Tuesday with an yet another awesome performance by our man, Katlejo, and our special guest, Mr. Johan Siofendo.